Hi, so today we will do a demo um, or we'll just go over the options of clients available to see the view, uh, see or render OpenGE 3D Globe in a web or desktop browser. So here I go on GitHub and a um, lot of people post these answers like what clients should I use to view my globes? And um, there is this uh, frequently asked question that we added and that talks about the options available. So what client can I use for viewing globes created from Google Earth Enterprise? That's a GE server, G Fusion, and a G server. So there is option of desktop client and which I would show you. So this is Google Earth Enterprise desktop client. It's still available on Google's uh, website to download dl.google.com and then a um, bunch of options for different platforms so i have one installed here and uh, mine is running ubuntu 16.06 uh, so here basically i have um, san francisco globe uh, created and i render it just sign in into globe and then view it and then zoom according to your need let's do that again pretty simple file server sign out file server sign in and then mention your globe um, address like for example earth enterprise org 3d is a public globe all of these are local globes cage.google.com is also public globe and disable caching i just like that because next time i see a change from my code um, I would it wouldn't reflect here so I when I test I disable caching and caching is it would cache all the tiles that have visited and then when it runs out then it would start to override that cache um, so yeah sometimes it could get into unreliable state for testing so that's my globe um, I exit so that was a desktop client demo or just to get you acquainted with what it is like now um, let's go to second option so our frequently asked question talks about a web client by AGI and that's a CZM JavaScript client for web browsers based off of WebGL and um, it's there is so I'll mention all these links in, in my video but um, since GE was getting open source, uh, CZM has added support for 3D terrain and imagery uh, from the fusion generated globes. And uh, that has a different protocol than its uh, Earth plugin API. Um, so this is a blog and then we will go over Google Earth on ramp section. So this has example codes. Um, this is mainly for Google Earth API, uh, which was uh, already uh, deprecated even before GE got um, open source. So people might be familiar with that. But uh, only for fusion generated globes, there is uh, these two uh, tutorials that could help. And then uh, we would go over CCM's demo Oh, I think I uh, came into the same page. But um, so how to go about it? So imagery layers, RGIS map server imagery provider. So all these um, different mapping service providers are um, what CCM has implemented in their um, implementation basically then they went ahead and added a uh, google earth um, let's see it's called google earth in my oh, sorry it's not google it's earth imagery provider let's see earth enterprise imagery provider Enterprise imagery provider. So, yeah, so there is a documentation of Google Earth imagery provider. No, we don't want that. We want the one that says um, 
Google Earth Imagery Provider. And basically, we want the Earth Enterprise Imagery Provider. So let's see, Earth Enterprise. Yeah. So there is the documentation for uh, the API itself. Uh, the JavaScript API itself, and um, you can play with it. But uh, just to get started, there is also a Hello World sample in their Sandcastle demo platform. And um, the way it works is, and uh, let's see. So it talks about all how to use uh, Sandcastle, how to create the code there, test there, and save it, and then share it. And um, it has a UI, and um, you can also build locally. Uh, yeah, there, you can pretty much download the CCM, start your own web server, and build it locally. But um, I like the Sandcastle because um, someone who is coming brand new to CZM, they can get started here. Uh, so let's go to beginners. Um, that's where our tutorial, uh, our, our demo is, Google Earth Enterprise demo is. So this is the demo of um, loading imagery provider as well as terrain, uh, loading imagery as well as terrain from um, globe that is published using fusion and so it would show for example let's see terrain i hope i can show the terrain but since it's very old um data maybe it won't make much sense to show it here if you have a good pixelation high resolution terrains then I mean the models then it would make much sense to view it here um yeah so these are 3d 3d models what does it say 3d okay yeah so you can play around um once you get this started. So for your case, um, I would explain how this is running. This pretend that this serv demo server is running on some of Cesium's own server. And then it's trying to create a GE Google Earth Enterprise metadata by reading the metadata from this uh, published globe. And then it uses Cesium's proxy. So in your organization, if you have a proxy, you can mention that or take it out. And then uh, it has a provider and a terrain provider and just um, set the camera view. So viewer gets the input of what information it's going to view. And then um, you can pick different base layers as well. It looks like that. Um, yeah, so that is it about CZ. And we show it running um, here. I don't know what to show you else. Uh, I guess that's it for now. Have fun if you happen. Yeah, so they also have, okay, here is the console. I wanted to show about this. So in case you run into error, uh, the console will have its error information. Uh, what is the problem? And in case you want to add to the demo there is also a github repository for just for the cesium demo so if you happen to uh, create a cool demo out of google earth enterprise 3d globe then uh, feel free to contribute there otherwise also feel free to contribute there but i hope that will get you unstuck uh, using the globe re um, rendering i mean uh, re unstuck from rendering your 3d globes which were built using OpenGE. Um, have fun. Thank you. Bye.